I just built a handyman up here in Northern California. Well, I was driving by one street and I found this out here. These two just sitting here on the sidewalk. And that's what I'm all about. I'm into free stuff and I'm into uh, sharing what I've got. I actually got a, a thank you letter from the welfare department and uh, basically people who are low income, I find them uh, appliances, what I do, I have done. and. I've also won a county award for the best recycling, uh, best reuse program in the county. Nah, anybody can do this kind of stuff, really. Don't, don't take much. Um, so what I'm going to talk about today is the Speed Queen. The Speed Queen dryer has been setting, and we're going to take it apart and do a couple of dry checks on it, and then run some power to it and see how it goes. And uh, for those who like to criticize my videos please leave a link to a better video on the subject please do that okay so on this speed queen first thing we're going to do is take these two screws out here this bottom panel will come off and then we're going to take we're going to take two screws off the bottom inside here underneath that panel and then we're going to pop this up and we're going to take out the barrel and look inside clean it and look with it. So we got the bottom panel off we got the two panels the outer and the inner panel off and these are the door switch wires um, they go red black gray so they go this way on the switch basically basically if you don't remember red black gray it's not a big if in doubt consider the most professional working on dryers is hazardous so we look at it and we don't see much lint inside here which is a good sign it you, you can tell that it's uh, had proper venting we don't have a lot of uh, lint built up here we do have some and then if we look at the skids these are basically the uh, bushing for the front these are good skids I call them skids some people call them bushings uh, or bearing and so basically this, this top panel here, once you get these screws off the front, then you just pull up this way and it'll unclip up from up there. And then, of course, this belt, kind of tricky to see. Uh, basically, in order to take this barrel off, we have to disconnect the idler. And be careful if you have spiders. This one has had spiders. There's spider eggs right there. Um, and ching ching money money and what else it's about all the goodies we've got for today fingernails how would you imagine a fingernail would get in there <sighs> and if we check the blower it seems all good this is a heavy duty blower i like these blowers uh i believe it was designed by raython the military defense contractor these are pretty heavy duty machines. The newer ones, I think, are also called Hipsch. I think Hipsch Corporation bought out Speed Queen, so uh, the Hipsch are the commercial varieties more than the uh, standard household varieties. I think the Hipsch are more rated for uh, coin op machines. Okay, so we've got the belt undone. We're gonna take the barrel out. You may have to loosen these screws up here to take this barrel out. There's a screw here and a screw there. And we can see what we got going here. So, I got my trusty dusty bolt meter here. I bought on uh, eBay for like 15 bucks. I'm cheap, yeah. I should try and save as much money as I can. This one's got a little bit of uh, signs of use on it and we look at the heat element this is the heat element you see there's a lot of wind built up around here definitely sort of a fire hazard if it got moist it would definitely be a fire hazard a lot of lint in here and we check the rollers and we got good rollers this one's dry usually they all squeak when they're dry we got a little bit of res burnt residue here which may cause uh black marks on the clothes so we want to try and get this clean and we have some black marks there on the barrel which would cause little that's probably bubble gum 
would cause little black streaks on your white clothes, so we don't want any of that in there. So we're going to check the heat element with a meter. This one also has the thermal cutoff on it. And it looks like all the connections are good. Uh, these timers, usually timers are not an issue. Um, I've actually never had a problem with a Speed Queen timer. Um, or at least one on a, dry, a dryer. So timer is usually, except on the newer Whirlpools and Ken Morris, timers are normally not an issue. Um, main issue you're going to have is the door switch and or maybe possibly the blower and or uh, the high limit thermostat. Okay, so we just set the meter on uh, uh, own setting. Okay, so uh, some people uh, wonder why I'm always working on old used machines. Well, I'm taking donations to find new machines, find new machines for low income people. Uh, if you're interested in uh, making a donation, please do. And just let me know and I will send you my uh, mailing address for your donation. Okay, so here's my voltmeter and I have it set on tone. So I'm setting it on tone. If I go here, you'll see the tone. You'll hear the tone. You check this. This is the thermal cutoff. And we see that this one will burn out. We have no, no continuity, no tone. If we go here, check that thermostat. We have continuity and we have the tone. So this was the problem with this dryer. It blew this thermal cutoff fuse. Uh, there's, it's completely dead. There's no reaction on the meter. It probably has a good heat element. And I'll check that. And we have a good heat element. So that was the problem with this dryer. This fuse will uh, blow when you have poor flow in the room and or exiting out your vent. And so, on this one, all I have to do is replace this, and it should be good to go. We're going to test it after I replace that and see what we... Okay, there's the sound of a healthy dryer right there. It works. Works now. Should heat fine. Alliance Laundry System. Alliance Laundry System. That make they make hips as well, I believe. Alliance. So Speed Queen sold out to Alliance is what happened. Yeah. 